Hey guys, today we're going to talk about an auction on eBay for $1.7 million for Magic the Gathering cards. You might be asking, what could possibly cost $1.75 million? Complete graded set of Alpha. Now, I remember Alpha pretty well because my first booster pack I opened was in first grade and it was Beta. Uh, my first notable card was Dragon Whelp, but my rare was actually Norvin Paladin. I just didn't know Norvin Paladin was the rare. But I remembered the stores having so many. The store I used to go to had so many of these packs, Magic the Gathering boxes. And it was mainly because no one wanted them. No one wanted beta packs. No one wanted unlimited packs. Not only was this a new game, it was a card game. It was a game that a collectible card game. So you did have collectible cards like Ninja Turtles, X-Men, baseball cards, golf, whatever you collect football cards, but you didn't have card games which did something. And those card games were based on uh, celebrities, I guess. Like I, I can't call X-Men celebrities, but football, baseball, sports celebrities, sports personalities, uh, Disney movies. I remember collecting Power Ranger cards. So this was a card game not based on any known quantity, so no one wanted to buy them. I vividly remember buying my first pack and seeing like they had to open the box for them to sell me that one pack. And the owner was like, hey, do you want the box? Because it's, I'll give you a discount on it. They were just trying to get rid of it. In hindsight, obviously, as a first grader, I did not know. Otherwise, I would have purchased the whole box. I, I pretty much didn't even have the right amount of allowance. But I had enough allowance to buy my first pack. And for a long time, I didn't play Magic. I just kept my pack, enjoyed the artwork, and put it away. And then uh, when Revised came out and my friends started playing more of it, I was like, oh, hey, cool. I'm, I'm getting back into it. But $1.7 million. Somebody bought this collection for or opened these cards for $3 a pack. $3 a pack. And there are cards that are worth six figures in a pack that you can open. But for the most part, even just the regular cards are worth quite a bit of money. So, I don't know. It's pretty insane to me to see this price. But this is probably the lowest price it's going to be at. The next time we see it, it could be $2 million. It could be 4 It could be 8 It's just crazy how expensive this game has gotten. Um, and it's sad. Uh, for As someone who has played the game and has lots of beta cards i still have tons of them it is sad to see these prices because it does prevent the younger generation or the younger players from really enjoying some of the old school magic um, that i really enjoyed um, i still remember not knowing any prices that was the best time when you traded for what you needed and you had no idea what any price was and no one had any clue what the prices were and even that one dude who had the Inquest magazine, Inquest didn't really know what the prices were. And no one knew. Because, and even if you didn't believe you knew, you would get updates every month. So the price could, you don't get price spikes like every day. Because by definition, the price guy doesn't upload update until the month, until the end of the month. It's just so crazy to see um, where Magic has gone. I mean, it's... Uh, it's sad to me. I don't know why it's sad, but it kind of is.